Um, I think when a candidate's going for interview, there's quite a lot to take into consideration. Um, you have to think about how your appearance is, um, what you're wearing. You have to make sure that you're matching what your interview dress is to the, the company's culture itself. So if they're a, a large bank, you make sure you're wearing a full suit, a, a tie, a waistcoat if you feel fancy. Um, but if it's a small software house or, or more laid back company, then usually trousers and a shirt are absolutely fine. Check in, make sure you know what, what it is you need to be wearing before you get there. I think as well you need to make sure that you go back to the basics of your job before an interview as well. Um, some people have come straight out of university, not interviewed for 10 years and have forgotten how to interview. Um, and have forgotten some of the, the fundamentals of their job, for example, the key pillars of development is something a lot of people won't have looked at since they've been at university, so brushing up on some of the fundamentals of their role um, can be a quite a good idea as well. Researching a company is key. If, um, if you're an active candidate on the market, um, there'll be a number of jobs you're interviewing for. What makes this one special? Why did this one interest you? Why are you suitable for this role? They might have seen your CV and think that you're good for the job, but what makes this one particularly interesting to you? Why do you want to work with this company? Yeah, it maybe goes without saying, but make sure you know your own CV and that you remember your own experience. If it's on your CV, be prepared to back it up. If you've listed 20 technologies, some of which you haven't worked on or some of which you've never even seen, then maybe it shouldn't be on your CV. Um, I think questions at the end of an interview give a really good impression that you have listened to them throughout the interview. So perhaps if they've touched on a technical aspect or a project aspect, pick up again on that. So for example, you mentioned such and such a project, can you tell me a little bit more about the deliverables? Um, I think as well, you want to use the end and the questions at the end to get them to imagine you working in the company. So a question like, can you tell me about the projects that I'll be working on in the first six months? Or tell me about the technologies I'll be working with in my first six months? Are great questions. I think a, a, a mistake a lot of people make is they try to be overly formal with an interview. Yes, a person is going to be hired for their skills, but that, uh, that interviewer, the hiring manager, also needs to know that they can work with you. So you need to let a little bit of your personality shine through, a little bit of yourself come out as well. Yeah, I think just on that, um, honesty. You know, not everyone is perfect. Um, not everyone has done everything and not everyone's worked on every single technology under the sun. Be honest about your limitations, be honest about your ability. Um, you know, it makes you a lot more hireable as a person rather than as a CV.